Right then, so now hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable using path objects with the help of that path lib module and also reading, writing and appending to files. Now, sometimes when we're performing these kinds of tasks, things can go wrong, like with anything else, and cause errors. For example, if we try to open a file in read mode and that file doesn't exist, then that causes an error in Python because Python can't read or find that file. Now in write mode, Python would create that file for us when it doesn't exist because we want to write to it. But in read mode, that doesn't happen. And instead that causes an error. Also, there might be other things like file permissions that cause errors, whereby we try to access files which are protected. So these are possibilities you need to keep in mind when you're working with the file system. And it can be good practice to handle those possible errors accordingly. So that's what we're gonna do in this lesson. Now, I already have this open file function defined, and inside that I've created a path object using the path constructor to get the parent directory of this file. And then we add to that path to point to some file that doesn't exist. Now, if we take that path and use the open method on it and we specify read mode, then this will cause an error and force the program to exit. I can demo that by saving the file and then running it. And when we do that, we can see an error in the terminal and the type of error is a file not found error. So then to handle this error, we could wrap the open method inside a try and accept block. That way we can try to open the file and if it causes an error then, we can handle it in the accept block. So let's give this a whirl. So what I'm gonna do is cut this right here and then I'll do a try block. And then down here, I'm gonna say accept. So we'll fill these out one at a time. So I'm gonna paste back in that open function and actually we'll say file is equal to path.open. Now underneath that, we'll say content is equal to file.read. So we're gonna read that file if it exists. Then we're gonna print the content and then finally we'll close the file by using the close method. All right, so now we can flesh out the accept block. And remember, we can specify the exact type of error that we wanna catch here, that this accept block fires for. Now, if we open the terminal back up, we can see it's the file not found error. So we can say we want to accept file not found error. And if we wanted to, we could say as E to use the error inside this block. We don't need it at the moment because we know what the error is for. So all I'm gonna do is print out some kind of formatted string to say that the path that we have, so remember this thing here, so path does not exist. So we're telling the user that, but we're not closing the program. We're just handling the error a bit more gracefully. All right, so if we try this out now, I'm gonna save it and run the file. And it says right here, this whole path does not exist. So that's a bit better, right? And also I can demo that it's not gonna quit out of the program by down here doing a print to say end of function. Let's run this again. And we should see that still logged down here in the terminal. Awesome. All right, so there are also other kinds of errors like permission errors that we could run into. And this thing right here is not gonna handle those errors. So instead what we'll do is a catch-all generic accept block. So we'll say accept, and then we'll say exception as E. So this exception is kind of like the base error class, and it's a catch-all error class if you like. So this accept block will catch any other errors that's not a file not found error. And in that case, we could use the error to print it out to the terminal. So we'll say print, and then we'll do a formatted string that says unexpected, if I can spell unexpected error, and then we'll output the error like so. All right then. So now what I'm gonna do is run this one more time to make sure everything's still working. Well, it's not gonna work, but we should still see this thing here. And yep, we see that thing and we see end of function as well. So this is how we can handle any kind of errors when it comes to reading files that don't exist.